I saw on Twitter, says 1265, I saw on Twitter people arguing whether Green Bay or Kansas City's roster is better. And maybe I'm just being a homer, but I think it's Green Bay. Everyone else thought that was crazy. See, yeah, and that's that's the thing. That's where, again, people just, they know Kansas City is one of the best teams in football, and that's all they know. They don't know anything about that team. Uh, on top of that, they got some big names that are overrated. Um, let me just pull it up real quick. Uh, let's Chiefs. They've got a couple big names that people know about. Um, one of them, and I know he's not there anymore. He's a Viking now, but Bashad Breeland was a name everybody thought was great. He was so subpar, it was unbelievable. Um, but uh, see, even even that guy that I was thinking of apparently is gone. So on the team, they got Tyreek Hill. They got um, Pat Mahomes. They got Travis Kelsey. That's the biggest thing in the team. Now, remember, they had two of the best, they got one of the best tackle duos in football, and both of their tackles are gone. The offensive line isn't that great. They got Creed Humphrey this year. We don't know if he's going to be any good. They went and got Orlando Brown, who was a right tackle. They're moving him over to left tackle, see if he can handle that. We have no idea if he can. Um, so they, they got a bunch of question marks here. We got to see how it all plays out. They've been investing a lot in it. Lucas Nyang, who was a third round pick. Trey Smith, who was a sixth round pick uh, in this draft class. Joe Thune, who was for New England, they brought over, and Orlando Brown they bought, brought over, right? So it's a lot of big names, but I don't trust that this is going to be a dominant team. Um, the other thing that cracks me up, Tyreek Hill. Who's the best wide receiver next to Tyreek Hill? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. So why do the Packers always get so much hate? Because they have Devontae and apparently nobody. Who do they have outside of Tyreek Hill? Well, they got Travis Kelsey. I'm talking about wide receiver. Why don't they draft a wide receiver? They only got one. Don't know. So again, you got one wide receiver, you got a quarterback, you got a tight end. Clyde Edwards Alaire is unbelievably overrated. I did a top five running back, top five rookie running back list last year. I, I think he was like number five on the list. Um, massively overrated. He wasn't as high as, as AJ Dillon was. Um, on defense, Chris Jones is very, very good. Otherwise, Frank Clark is stupid overrated stupid overrated. He's he's barely, he's, I would call him average. Um, Jerron Reed is fine. Derek Nottie is fine. Not super elite. Um, the linebackers are not good. The cornerbacks are terrible. And um, the safeties are Armani Watts, Daniel Sorensen, uh, Juan Thornhill. So if you had to, Packers have a better offensive line. If you wanted to say Pat Mahomes is better, fine, but it's not by very much. If you want to say Tyreek is better than Devontae, uh, that's silly, but fine. They don't have... So, in reality, the Packers wide receivers are better. The Packers offensive line is better. The Packers running backs are better. They do have a better tight end than we have. The quarterback is at best a tie. The defensive line, I'll give to them because of Chris Jones, assuming Kenny Clark does not bounce back. The edge rushers, the Packers are better. The linebackers... Fine, I'll say Nick Bolton because they drafted him maybe is better, but I, just because I don't trust any of our guys. Our corners are better. Our safeties are better. I, I, it just is what it is. I know they're a good football team, but they don't have as good of a roster. That's just, that's not even debatable to me.